This is an excision of a plaque-like lesion on the back of a 16-year-old female. At low power, we have an infiltrative mass located in the subcutis with focal extension into the dermis. If we take a closer look, we can see that there are two distinct and mixed components within the lesion. The infiltrative component, which I'll show here, is made up of fascicles of spindle cells within a collagenous background. The cells themselves are relatively uniform, with fusiform to oval nuclei, fascicular chromatin, and one or two punctate nucleoli. The cytoplasm is pale and amphiphilic, and the cell borders are indistinct. In contrast, the nodular component is well-defined and composed of sheets of histiocytoid cells with similar nuclear features as the spindle cells. However, their cytoplasm is more of a dense amphiphilic color. There are also scattered multinucleated giant cells present. Lastly, both components contain areas of hemorrhage, hemosiderin, and a mild chronic inflammatory infiltrate. This is an example of plexiform fibrohistiocytic tumor, a biphasic soft tissue neoplasm that most commonly presents in children and young adults as a slow-growing plaque on the forearm or hand. This lesion is composed of nodules of histiocytoid cells surrounded by infiltrative fascicles of spindle cells. To me, this is a pretty unique morphology. However, if you add a small biopsy lacking both components, it may not be as clear. In such cases, the differential would include fibroblastic and myofibroblastic tumors such as fibromatosis, nodular fasciitis, and fibrous hematoma of infancy. In addition, the multinodular growth seen in cellular neurothegioma may mimic the histiocytoid nodules in this tumor. Immunohistochemistry chemistry is not especially helpful. The spindle cells in plexiform fibrohistiocytic tumor are at least focally positive for SMA, and histiocytoid cells are positive for CD68 and CD168, which honestly doesn't really rule out anything. Lack of staining for MITF could help rule out cellular neurothegioma. However, it's important to know that some cases of plexiform fibrohistiocytic tumor are focally positive. Clinical features such as patient age, location, and rate of growth can be helpful in the diagnosis, but additional tissue sampling may still be necessary. This usually isn't a problem since complete excision is recommended given its potential for metastasis, although this is rare. Local recurrence is more common and may occur in up to 40% of cases. And that's all I have for now. Please like and subscribe, and for more educational pathology content, check out my Mega Index using the QR code or link in the description. Thanks for watching!